everyone, my name is What, and I'll be your narrator. Today we will be taking a look at Level 8 of the Backrooms, also known as Cavernous Depths. Classes Safety, Unsafe Stability, Unstable Geometry, Normal Danger Level, High Hazards Life Form Dangers Structural Instability Environmental and Lung Hazards Surreality Class 7 Nostalgia Factor 1 Population 0 Chaos Integrity 7 Level 8 is the 8th level of the backrooms. Description Level 8 currently appears as a massive complex of tunnels and spaces taking place far beneath the ground and in the depths of a believed to be infinite cave system. The cave itself features very rough surfaces and various kinds of rocks, such as chalk and limestone, among various others. The ground of this level, contrasting the otherwise jagged and rough surroundings, remains rather smooth and flat, usually appearing as something akin to slate. Upon the ground generally lies a plethora of rock formations, whether that be more minuscule things such as pebbles or debris of broken stone, or higher scale pieces such as boulders and stalagmites and stalactites. The layout of this level proves to be challenging when it comes to exploring, with most of its areas appearing to be very cramped and claustrophobic, or having a hard to navigate environment because of how its ground has ended up forming. A path you can take within level 8 could theoretically lead in any direction, up, down, forward to the sides or diagonally, as the level is insanely unpredictable in the most sense. On the contrary, it is actually possible for the level to have much larger areas than one would rarely anticipate, with some areas being similar to a larger scale cave. These parts are hard to come across, but are fairly expansive when they are found, being estimated to be miles long in their smaller renditions. Cavernous areas are completely filled with stalactites and stalagmites around them, making exploring them fairly difficult, as if moving through a dense forest, and on top of that, the stalactites are very common to fall off the ceiling and nearly land on the ground, and can be very deadly if nearby. Another big issue within the level presents everywhere yet most severe in the caverns are the fact that the ceiling and walls are rather unstable, and there is a frequent event that'll make level 8 crumble and fall apart cascading a stream of debris and dirt around the level, and due to this, causes the level to be an extreme risk to venture throughout as the crumbling environment can trap you where you are, or simply crush and kill you. Frequently, there are areas that will have a large, shallow river flowing along it with foggy waters and a green tint. These rivers don't immediately seem to have a source, but it is currently believed that the water in level 8 are a form of the water present within level 7, as they both are green and level 8's water contains traces of 7-BCT-1, yet watered down to a much less severe version dubbed as 7-BCT-1-B. Because it is less infectious, it is possible to drink from these rivers assuming the consumer has a somewhat decent immune system. The rivers are present around the level periodically, coming in many different sizes and intensities, along with having the waters be present in the stalactites dripping from time to time. Along with the rivers, the cave can occasionally have different forms of minerals and crystalline formations such as copper, malachite, and coal, and a variety of others that are generally found within baseline reality caves, along with some backroom needing materials such as fire salt. These are rare, however, and generally end up in the corners and cracks of the smaller areas of the level. In this place, the cave generally doesn't contain natural light, instead being pitch black everywhere one goes. Despite this, though, the cave does occasionally have a few different forms of light found within it. The light source most commonly found is a tall, industrial floodlight rooted into the floor of the level. It oddly enough doesn't seem to have any form of wires or anything that would indicate functionality, so by all means it should not work. The floodlights are rather bright, emanating a loud buzz akin to the fluorescent lights of level 0 and flickering from time to time with rapid bursts. Another common light source found here is the odd type of vine named Phosphor Sprawl. As the name suggests, it has a material similar to the phosphor along its desaturated turquoise vines. 
It generally is found along the ceiling of the level, especially in the corners and more damp portions of the level. The actual light it produces isn't too noticeable if you were to compare it to other light sources, but in the dark it is very easy to see and can make wandering more easier. One should also be aware that the caves of this level are a hot spot for many different variations of life forms, such as smilers, hounds, and hollows, and many others, along with the typical dangerous species of life forms such as primordial spilers. These life forms generally wander through the bigger areas of the level, but smaller ones such as the death gramites may be found in more claustrophobic areas. This level is also home to a life form of its own, the R of Oaks, which are documented later in the page. If attempting to devil deeper within the tunnels of this level, one should be aware that the deeper and deeper you get within the level, the higher and higher the temperature will rise. It initially starts at around 5 degrees Celsius, but will slowly shift to near unbearable heats, for most given around a mile down. With the reasoning being the area found down below level 8 is named the core. The core. The core is hidden deep in the depths of level 8, where most travelers normally won't come across it. It seems to be a giant metallic megastructure, with the middle of it being occupied by what seems to be a massive red burning spear resembling a small star. This megastructure is filled with the rooms of computer terminals and offices. Those computer terminals are turned off and cannot be turned on. Terminals that are on usually display an error message or a bunch of text and notes in an unknown language. Trying to interact with any of the screens or pressing any of the keyboard keys will automatically crash the system, shutting it down and completely and permanently turning off the computer. There are occasions where some travelers manage to successfully interact with the computer for a few seconds, yet this hasn't helped much as everything is still unintelligible. In the center of the megastructure is a giant red star surrounded by a total of eight massive pillars, four of them being mounted to the ceiling, while four of them mounted into the floor. All of these pillars seem to already have slightly melted. One pillar, at the time of writing this, almost completely melted. The walls of the computer terminals and the rest of the structure has been diminished into a large puddle of molten metal. Due to this and the temperature, it isn't recommended to explore the megastructure without proper equipment. Catwalks also lead around the red star. These are highly dangerous to take though, as most of them are completely melted. It has also been noticed that the core has been heating up ever since the discovery of it. It is unknown if this increase of temperature will ever stop or if it will continue heating up until the eradication of the megastructure, or maybe even level 8. Some people also theorize that this red star might also explode into a supernova at some point, completely erasing level 8. But, this event has never been recorded before throughout the entire history of the level. Due to the destruction that this red star has caused, it is very difficult to explore the multiple floors within the megastructure. The elevators within the structure are always broken in the best case scenario. Worst case scenario, and the most likely scenario, is that these elevators will plunge down multiple floors the moment they have been stepped on, which will most likely end with death due to the fall. Even if a traveler survived the fall, it is basically impossible to get back up, and they are most likely to die from an avarok or due to starvation or thirst. Staircases also exist within the structure, although these always lead up and usually have holes inside of them due to the red star melting it. The upper floors don't have much more than the lower ones, Upper floors are also a lot hotter than the rest of the floors. Weirdly, it is possible to find multiple areas where this megastructure lies. Each location is the same when compared to the others. It has also been noticed that when changing something in one location, it will automatically change the same thing in the other locations. This can theoretically lead to the scenario where objects are moved without anyone being there because in actuality the object has been moved in another location. The core is the only region where this distortion of geometry is present. Autovokes Autovokes are a type of life form exclusive to level 8. It appears as a large, monstrous arachnid with 16 legs that is very dangerous for a variety of reasons, but isn't too common within the level. An autovoke varies in size usually, but is approximately 9 inches on average, 
which is closer to the full height of an average human head. The body is fairly similar to baseline reality arachnids, with the exception of its inexplicable count of legs, generally ranging from 10 to 14 along its large body. These legs are long and have many joints along them, and considering that it seems to lack a bodily structure that prevents it from moving its legs in unexpected ways, means that it is extremely good at traversing the cavernous environment of the level. The skin of the life form is a brownish beige mixture and has a complex pattern running along its body in the darker shade. With this same shade being present along its legs, albeit in a different, more straightforward pattern, simply being the repeated pattern of stripes. The main reason why the out of oaks are as dangerous as they are is because of their two highly poisonous fangs which are mounted just below their eyes. Their main hunting technique is to climb up along the ceiling of level 8 and wait for any unfortunate traveler to pass below. From there, they will drop down using silk to prevent it from missing its target and then snatching preferably the traveler's neck, injecting the poison straight into the bloodstream. Sometimes, may will also attack anywhere else if necessary. Afterward, the out of oak will try to bail and run away from the traveler, most likely trying to climb back up onto the ceiling. From there on, it will continue to stalk its prey until it collapses as an aftermath from the poison. Out of oaks produce a very strong silk at a very fast rate as well. The silk seems to be almost unbreakable without any tools. Probably the easiest way to destroy the webs of an out of oak is through the use of fire salt, which can be found throughout the level. Due to the rarity of fire salt, it isn't recommended to terrorize fire oaks with it, except if your life depends on it. Out of oaks hunt for prey, usually alone, without the company of any other out of oaks. It is difficult to find out of oaks that are even remotely in the vicinity of another one of its kind. It is theorized that they are very territorial life forms, and rarely come across and into the territory of other out of oaks. For now, this theory is unconfirmed, yet it is very likely that this is the case. History Due to level 8's age, it is incredibly difficult to pinpoint the exact date of its discovery, nor the one who actually discovered this level first. There are multiple people who claim they had discovered level 8 first, yet most of them lack any evidence or have evidence that simply is impossible due to the way that they have described it, and due to the date differences that are feasibly impossible. Meanwhile, the core has been discovered back in 1961 by an unsuspecting traveler who was wandering to the source of the rising temperature. Events the only event present within level 8 is a complete collapse of brittle parts of the level. These can easily kill any unsuspecting travelers next to it. This happens all throughout the level and at some points can be heard echoing throughout it. Often rivers may also expand during this, due to the walls keeping it trapped collapsing. Level 8 will slowly recover over time from this event, till it collapses all at once again. This event is often also compared to a similar event present in level 0. Accessibility Methods Entrances The only confirmed entrance to this level is through level 7's large sewer grates. Exits Sometimes manholes may be found within the level. Opening this manhole and climbing the ladder will lead to level 9. There are supposedly other exits out of level 8. However, most of them are unconfirmed, as they've only apparently been encountered once.